Victor and I have to... Oh, hey, Pathfinder. <gasps> the Pathfinder's there? Let me say hi. Fine, but don't embarrass me. Ryder, this is Sid, my sister. Sid, Ryder. Let me guess. Little sister? Who are you calling little? Look, kiddo. Gotta go. Wait, Ryder, I just wanted to know if... So I know it feels like I just jumped aboard your ship without explanation? I would have done the same just to get off the Nexus. That's not why I came. Sure, I want to explore the galaxy, but I'm really here to work. I know everyone on the crew, even the actuators Gil prefers for the ship. Better, I know how to get my hands on them. With me around, your crew's going to be at their best. We've been failing for months, Ryder. Now that we have you, we have a chance out here. Ability to haggle with the locals? Great. But please tell me you're also good in a fight. Like I said before, Wrangler, Provisioner, Gunner, and everything in between. I do what I have to. We all have a personal stake in this. If it keeps going the way it's been, we're all dead. I should track down a lead for Gil's actuators. Back channels, you know. We'll chat later. Terraforming, Atmo processors, gravity wells, life-destroying murder bubbles. <laughs> we really had no idea what Helios was about, did we? <laughs> if we knew what it was all about, it wouldn't be an adventure. It would just be moving, and everyone hates moving. Just the packing alone. Blah. <laughs> Point taken. I'm just saying. I really hope you have a plan, Ryder. Like you said, we had no idea what Helios was really like. What good's a plan? Adapting to problems as they come up. I like that. Good, since you're probably gonna have front row seats to me winging it. Looking forward to the show. You talked about your back channels. What did you mean? We brought a lot from home. Some of it marked initiative, some of it in personal caches. Most things you want, someone's got. You just have to figure out who, and what they're willing to take in exchange. That just sounds like you're taking advantage of people. Is it? I get people what they want. And they do want, or they wouldn't pay. How did she hear of the Andromeda Initiative? Short answer, Cash. She was looking for some experimental ship mods, and I knew how to track them down. I thought it was a one-time deal, but she came back. Once, twice. Eventually, I figured out something was going on. Something big, with creds behind it. I asked, and she told me about the Initiative. New galaxy, new home. Couldn't pass that up. Have anyone else here with you? Besides Sid. No, just me and Sid. It's always been just the two of us. No, I mean, someone special. Special? Oh. You mean like... Oh. <laughs> no, nothing like that. Who has time? What about you? Anywhere's gonna feel empty if you don't have someone to share it with. A romantic? I wasn't expecting that. Then again, the entire idea of leaving everything you know for a chance at something new is kind of romantic. Um... Anyway... You were on the Nexus when the revolt happened? When you promise people golden worlds and all they get are wastelands and a death cloud, they riot. Some wanted to go home, some demanded answers, and a couple just wanted to stir shit up. And you? Some days I wondered if the Exiles had a point. Maybe we were conned into coming here. But why would the Initiative go to all this trouble just to screw us over? The thing about conning people, you always know something they don't. And that's why the con works. If I'm going to pick a side, I'm picking the liars. You probably have work to do. We can chat later. You know where to find me. What can I do for you, Pathfinder? 